Well, welcome again. We are in our Will County Health Department Community Health Center. Thank you so much for coming. Every year during the month of May, we recognize National Mental Health Awareness Month. And together we fight stigma. We provide support. We educate the public and advocate and advocate for policies that support millions of people in the United States that are affected by mental health illness. As you know, mental health illness has become a serious issue nationally, regionally, and locally. According to the National Alliance of Mental Illness, NAMI, one in five adults in the United States experiences mental illness each year. More and more children also are being treated for mental illness with one in six youths in the United States, ages between six and 17, experience a mental health disorder each year. Suicide is the number two leading cause of death among people aged 10 to 44. Our Will County Health Department, as I mentioned earlier, was originally established in 1994. It became a federally qualified health center in 2000 and moved into this facility in 2005 and it began providing behavioral health services in 2015. In 2015, they saw 170 behavioral health patients. In 2022, just last year, we saw nearly 1,500 patients, behavioral health patients, for over 7,000 appointments. Since we began offering behavioral health services in 2015 to current day, our staff have treated patients for a total of over 47,000 behavioral health appointments and visits. Our community health center identified an area in the back which we'll tour soon that was a medical record storage room. That when we digitalized the records, the room was no longer needed for medical record storage. Using a grant from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, HRSA, we were able to convert that area into a centralized behavioral health suite right here in the Community Health Center. The Community Health Center provides numerous behavioral health services, including child and adolescent and adult psychiatric services, individual short-term therapy, group therapy sessions, a behavioral health injection clinic, and medication-assisted treatment programs. Thank you again for being part of this special day as we celebrate the opening of our behavioral health suite here in our community health center. I'd like to turn the microphone over to Congresswoman Lauren Underwood. And thank you again for being here. Well, good morning. My name is Congresswoman Lauren Underwood. I have the honor of representing the city of Joliet and the communities of the 14th district of Illinois in Congress. I want to thank the Will County Health Department and Community Health Center for hosting the wonderful tours and ribbon cutting today. I'm glad to be joining partners and stakeholders around the Joliet region to celebrate the grand opening of the Behavioral Health Suite, because this is truly a moment to celebrate. The improvements made here are essential to our community's health and quality of life. Access to behavioral health services and resources is much needed now more than ever, especially in our underserved communities. And that's why I'm so pleased to see the behavioral health suite renovation was federally funded through the American Rescue Plan. I was very proud to support that legislation, which provided historic investments to help end the pandemic, deliver direct relief to American families, and rescue our economy. The American Rescue Plan brought critical resources to our communities, including funding for the 10 community health centers in our congressional district. The American Rescue Plan provided $7.6 billion for community health centers, ensuring that the Will County Community Health Center and other health centers in Joliet and the surrounding area could help protect people against COVID-19 and make the long-term investments needed to keep families safe and healthy. We know a critical part of that mission is addressing mental health and behavioral health conditions which have worsened in recent years, especially among our young people. This renovated behavioral health suite will tackle this crisis head on, expanding access to evidence-based mental health services and substance use disorder treatments for young people and adults in our community. This expansion of care is very much needed 
and I'm proud to have delivered the funding to make it happen through the American Rescue Plan. So congratulations, and thank you to the leadership. Uh, a big, big, big thank you to all the clinical staff and providers, um, and the staff of the Will County Health Department and Community Health Center for providing affordable access to health care that our community needs. It's really an honor to be here to celebrate with you today. Thank you. I would like to invite our county executive, Jennifer, Jennifer Bertino Tarrant, up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But what a, um, not a wonderful day outside, but a wonderful day inside to be here. Um, thank you so much, Congresswoman uh, Underwood, for being here. We know this has been a priority for you. Uh, we appreciate so very much your support in uh, Washington, D.C., because we have really here in Will County seen a lot of good things happen. Uh, as awful as the pandemic was, uh, we came together. Will County, as it always does, comes together. And we came out very successful supporting our community. When I mean successful, we wrapped our, our hands around the community to make sure that people had the services they need. And our Will County Health Department, as long with our Will County agencies, did this together. Uh, I want to thank first the health board there. You're standing, sitting there, too. I know we have a, a Sauls over there for Edna, but also our Will County board. Who is what I mean. When the, uh, the money dealt was asked, you came through for us, and we were able to provide a lot of services. So thank you very much. This is a big day. While the pandemic showed us how much we need public health care, what we've seen after is how important behavioral health care is. And so to make this a priority in Will County has been uh, first and foremost on our mind. Recently, 53% of the voters said we need even more support and they passed the 708 Mental Health Board. So we look forward to working with our health department to see good services throughout Will County. So thank you very much, everyone, for being here, for continued support of Will County. Thank you. I would like to invite our CEO, Dr. I'm sorry, CMO. Excuse me. Our CMO, Dr. Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you for the promotion. <laughs> Uh, and I'd like to welcome the Congresswoman. Thank you so much for taking time and being busy and other dignitaries here and invited guests. I just wanted to say that to reiterate our mission here for the Will County Community Health Center is to improve the health of the residents of Will County by providing access to quality integrated medical, behavioral health, and dental care through community collaboration, service, and education. So we are a multiple subspecialty clinic family medicine, internal medicine, behavioral health, psychiatry, psychology, and dental with an in-house lab and soon an in-house pharmacy. And we're happy to do those services for patients. And also what we're highlighting today is behavioral health. And notable about our behavioral health services is that there's an integrated service within primary care. <clears throat> that means primary care sees the patients first. We do have to physical laboratories and we bridge medication so patients never have to have a lag in their service or run out of medications because we as primary care providers will bridge their medicines, get them an appointment, and we have unearthed lots of untreated comorbid conditions that can be treated and oftentimes improves or resolves some psychiatric conditions. So we're very happy to be able to do this service and we think we're doing it in a high quality way. And we welcome all of you here today to experience our services in the way that you can. And thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you everyone for attending. What we're going to do is we're going to move over toward the behavioral health suite and do the ribbon cutting, and then we will provide the tours. Thank you again for coming. Thank you.